Hello, this is the answer lady, cabling on my favorite looms, kiss looms. I hope you'll enjoy cabling right along with me. Welcome to Kissable Cables. Some of the movies in this series have specific reference to this bunny cable, which you can find on my website. So we will talk about knitting a bobble for a tail, making 4x4 four four crosses, which are rather challenging, making 2x2 two two crosses, and in here, where you can't see it very well, is a pair of 2x2 two two crosses done to define the top of the head. That has some special challenges, so we'll talk about that. And then these are crosses that are not crossing knit stitches with knit stitches. So they allow the ears to move on the background, and we'll talk about those. Even if you have no interest in a bunny cable, you may want to watch these because they will help you so much with the general cabling techniques that you might like to use in any project. We are ready for this row on the design. Keep in mind that every time I make this cable, I'm making it a little differently, but here's the bunny's beginning, his tail, his neck, and we're up to here. So we have to do some cable crossing to define this area. And I'm inclined this time to do a pair of two by two crosses. So let's knit the first four stitches. Whoops, I need to wrap that correctly, don't I? And practice crossing a two by two cable. This is useful for very many designs. A two by two cable is an extremely commonly used one for pretty much all knitters, not just kiss knitters. So there are the stitches that I want to cross. And I think what I'm going to do to make this symmetrical is cross, this time anyway, I'm going to try crossing the outside stitches first. So I've moved the inside stitches to pins just to hold them. Here come the two that began life on the outside, moving them to the center, picking up the held stitches and swapping them with their original, from their original place. There we go. Now I purposely only knitted the first four, not all eight, because doing two crosses side by side, two pairs of two by twos, does require a little extra yarn. And here is our working yarn. These stitches have been knitted and crossed. I'll bring it over here and begin knitting. And that little stretch of yarn there takes some stress off of both the pegs and the yarn without looking um, sloppy. Now, when I said the inside ones get moved out of the way, I meant the ones towards the center. And that's these. I guess towards the center is probably a little clearer than inside. These are on the outer edge of the bunny's head. So these two are the ones that began on the central pegs, and I've just moved them out of the way onto stitch holders, which are our pins, so we have built-in stitch holders. Whoops. Crossing these two. and moving these to their destinations. I'm having a little trouble with one of these stitches, so I'm going to put it on a pin to keep it behaving itself while I get this one on. And the last one is almost always the hardest to cross in a series like this. And you do see clearly why I wanted that little extra space in the yarn that I described. See what happened? I'll need to fix that because we must stay behind the pins. There we go. A pair of two by two crosses side by side. Now the remainder of the stitches in this row are to be purl stitches, so I'll just go ahead with them. <laughs> 